I pastor Bill Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley, and today is a Friday, but not just any Friday, it is the 1st of January in the new year, 2021, or 2021 if you prefer. And Noah, we'd want to wish everybody Happy, Happy New Year. Uh, and it's Friday, so that means it's Friday Funnies, correct? What do you have for us? Why do you need a jeweler on New Year's Eve? Why do I need I, I need a jeweler on New Year's Eve? I I have no clue. To ring in the New Year. Okay. Do you have another one? Why did I put a calendar in the freezer yesterday? I don't think I noticed that. Why did you put a calendar in the freezer yesterday? I wanted to start the new year in a cool way. Okay, we'll let you go. If you told me all about your sorrows, I'd tell you about a cure. Told me you can't fight the battle There's a baby boy who won the war The war was won by a baby boy Please pray with me. 
Lord God, we ask you to make us more aware that we may value and appreciate the people around us, recognizing what we have in common rather than focusing on what our differences might be. Inspire us to distinguish between what is important and what is not, and open our minds and hearts that we may always be people of goodwill who bring life and joy to others. In your name we pray always. Amen. Our reading for today is from Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. Galatians 4, verses 4 through 7. But when the time arrived that was set by God the Father, God sent his Son, born among us of a woman, born under the conditions of the law, so that he might redeem those of us who have been kidnapped by the law. Thus we have been set free to experience our rightful heritage. You can tell for sure that you are now fully adopted as his own children, because God sent the Spirit of his Son into our lives, crying out, Papa, Father. Doesn't that privilege of intimate conversation with God make it plain that you are not a slave but a child? And if you are a child, you're also an heir with complete access to the inheritance. Here ends our reading. This is a language that's not often spoken in the New Testament, in the, God, in the, in the Gospels as well as in the, the epistles, the letters that are written. But uh, I find it pretty interesting. Uh, we are born under the conditions of the law, so that God might redeem those of us who have been kidnapped by the law. I, I think very few of us have ever experienced being kidnapped. But in fact, that's what happens. We are human beings, and because we are human beings, we are innately broken. We are not perfect. And uh, we've been, in a way, kidnapped by the law kidnapped by sin, which shows us that because we're not perfect, we are in need of a solution. The solution that comes into our lives is Jesus Christ. Our solution, not all the answers that we need in our life, but the solution to the biggest question which we have, that of our very existence, is Jesus Christ, who goes to the cross on our behalf, who goes to the cross out of love, who gives of himself that we might always know that we have forgiveness through him as well as eternal life. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord always be at your side, and may you indeed be strengthened in all your doings, through his Spirit. Amen. Peace on the earth, goodwill.
Blessed angels sing.